Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, let us take a look into add primary annotation. Well, we use add primary annotation to give higher preference to a bean when there are multiple spring beans of the same type. Well, let us understand add primary annotation with an example. So go to our project in Inclusion Idea. And here we have a veg pizza and non-veg pizza classes. These classes implements pizza interface. Well, in previous video, we have seen the usage of add qualifier annotation, isn't it? So if there are two or more spring beans configured for the same type, then spring IOC container gets confused like which spring bean it have to inject, isn't it? So in order to avoid this confusion or ambiguity, we have used add qualifier annotation. So alternative to this add qualifier annotation, we can use add primary annotation as well. All right. For example, here, let me remove this add qualifier annotation and let us see how to use add primary annotation. Well, let us say the pizza controller want wedge pizza spring bean as a dependency. Then we can go ahead and annotate this wedge pizza class with add primary annotation. Well, this add primary annotation tells Spring IOC container to give higher preferences for this Spring bean while injecting the dependency. For example, if you go to pizza controller, within this pizza controller, we are injecting the dependency using this constructor. And notice here, we have passed the pizza interface as a parameter to this constructor. And while injecting the dependency, Spring container gets confused like which implementation of this pizza interface it have to inject using this constructor. So to avoid this confusion or ambiguity, we can annotate one of the spring bean using add primary annotation so that spring IOC container will give higher preferences for this spring bean while injecting the dependency. All right. Now we have annotated wedge pizza class with add primary annotation. So spring IOC container will inject this wedge pizza spring bean in a pizza controller. Next, let us go ahead and let us test this change. So go to main method from here, run the application. And notice here in a console, wedge pizza is printed because we have used add primary annotation to tell Spring IOC container to give higher preferences for this Spring bean and inject this Spring bean in a pizza controller, isn't it? Next, let us say you want to inject non wedge pizza Spring bean in a pizza controller. Then you can go ahead and annotate this non wedge pizza class with add primary annotation. Next, go to wedge pizza and remove add primary annotation from wedge pizza class now now this add primary annotation tells spring container to give higher preferences for this spring bean while injecting the dependency for example if you go to pizza controller here we, we are injecting the dependency using constructor right so now spring ioc container will inject you know non wedge pizza spring bean using this constructor all right so let us test this change as well so go to main method from here run the application and notice here non wedge pizza is printed in a console. Alright, so this is how we can use add primary annotation to give higher preferences for a spring bean whenever we have multiple spring beans for the same type. Alright, great. I will see you in the next video.